Welcome back. It is March 18th, 2021, and we have some more market movers to go over. But before I get into that, uh, I want to remind you guys to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And with that being said, let's dive right into them. Starting the list off here with Hyperion Blacksmith, a card we saw yesterday on our list, up 40% from $14.94 to $20.97. And no, there is no registered decks that I could find that actually use it, but it is a Legends card, and for that reason alone, it is up on this list here today. Next card on the list is Palladium Moors, another Legends card, up 42. 0.7% from $72.50 to $103. And there isn't any decks using this one as well. Surprise, surprise, but it is a Legends card. Next up on the list is Zombie Master from Revise. This is up 42.26% from $11.95 to $17, seeing new all-time highs. And this card is seeing a lot of playing commander, most recently in a Scarab God deck and a Narfi Betrayer King. All right, next card we have on the list to talk about is... Mystic Reflection, this is the promo pack version of the card. This is from Kaldheim, up 46.69% from $7.56 to $11.09. And there is a ton of play for this card, and particularly in Commander and even in a Brawl deck, a Vega the Watcher deck. Next card we have on the list here is Land's Edge from Legends. Another Legends card up 50% here today from $49.97 to $74.99. Nowhere near its all-time highs of the recent buyouts of 2018. And guess what? No decks are actually using this card, but it is from Legends, which seems to be the theme of the day. Next up on the list is Planes. This is the Crushing Brutality Secret Layer Series card that we got recently, up 53% from $6.24 to $9.55. Now, this secret layer is no longer available, um, so any copies that you're going to have to grab will be on the secondary market, and for that reason, you are seeing an uptick in price. Next up on the list is Cleansing from the Dark. This is a reserve list card, up 57% here today from $24.99 to 3924 seeing new all-time highs and this card does actually see play in a Kenrith Return King deck which is a registered deck that I found on MTG Goldfish. All right, the next card on the list is Shield Wall from Legends, another Legends card up 63.45% from $5.50 to $8.99 seeing new all-time highs every day and I couldn't find any decks that are using this at the moment so the reason that this price is moving up so much is probably the fact that people are trying to buy out a lot of near mint english legends cards season of the witch from the dark this is a reserve list card up 66.64 percent seeing new all-time highs from 45 dollars to 74.99 and it does see a bit of play in commander and most recently in a marchesa the black rose deck as well next card we have on the list to talk about is Ruck Egg version 2. We see this card a lot as either a winner or a loser. This card seems to fluctuate in price all the time. This is up 85.71% from $70 to $130. And it is an Arabian Nights card. And a lot of copies that are near mints are very scarce on the market right now. El Hajaz, another Arabian Nights card, up 127.41% from $26.38 to $59.99 now. This card is seeing rapid price movements right now as it's trying to find a good price point, and it's a Arabian Nights card, so it's very scarce on the market. Feldrigif from Alliances. This is a reserve list card that I can't seem to say the name properly, up 132% today from $30 to $69.69, and it is seeing some playing commander. It even is a commander itself, which there is five registered decks that have using it as a commander. Next card we have on the list here today is Subjugator Angel. This is the Game Night version. Uh, it is up 134.62% from $2.34 to $5.49, and it does see a lot of playing Commander, specifically, more recently, Akalia the Vest deck. But if you want a cheaper copy of it available, there is one from Eldritch Moon that is about $0.20 cents on the market. Landwar Elves, another Game Night card on the list here, up 263.64% from $1.10 to four dollars seeing new all-time highs and this card has been printed in almost at least once a year so there's a lot of cheaper copies so if you want that for a deck do not purchase the game night one argothian pixies from antiquities this is up 284.62 percent from one dollar and 56 cents to six dollars and this card is nowhere near its price points of 2018 but it does see some play in commander and one registered maltani marrow sorcerer deck that i found on mtg goldfish all right, 
it is time to talk about reserve list liquidity and how liquid are reserve list cards. Well, it may surprise you that even though these cards are very expensive, they're harder to sell than you think. So if you do have a lot of reserve list cards and even purchasing them lately or even years ago, you'll notice that even though they are going up in price, they're harder to sell and for a lot of reasons. One, people are very, very particular about conditions of cards because a light play could mean one thing to one player and another thing to, to another player. It's, there's been cases where people even have cards graded that if they crack open the case, they'll send it back to you know uh, PSA. They'll actually return it with either a better or worse rating. So it, people are very particular about the way that they grade cards and the more expensive a card is, the more likely a player might want to grade it if they think it's in good condition. So that's one thing to factor in. But another thing is fraud. You know, when you're moving money around like that, uh, people get a little bit afraid. They want to make sure they verify everything beforehand because, you know, that's a lot of money that you're either going to be selling for or purchasing. So that is one factor that a lot of people need to think about when they are considering collecting reserve list cards and buying and selling reserve list cards because they're not like uh, modern, at least well, what modern used to be. Modern used to be the most liquid formats. Every time you had modern cards, people were trying to build decks, it was very easy to sell them and move them. It's not quite the same for reserve list. And look at these prices here of these beta, alpha, and unlimited cards. Yeah, so, you know, people, when they see these prices, um, you get a bit of FOMO as well, which actually drives up the price even more sometimes. But you have to remember, you got to be careful, stay calm, and relax when you're trying to sell these cards. You know, sometimes they do take a while, but there is definitely buyers out there because these are very, very iconic, hard, and rare pieces to find. All right, today's biggest loser of the day we are going to talk about is Sudden Spoiling from Time Spiral Remastered. This is down 66% from $12 to $4 as people realize there's cheaper copies available on the market. Okay, final thoughts on the market here today. We are getting a lot of Legends cards on the list. Yesterday, it felt like it was Antiquities that was the hot Four Horsemen set, but today it is Legends, which is not a surprise. I do think Legends, at least the English versions of the card, the, they're a very small print run in comparison to the Italian. And I think people are starting to realize that and appreciate it more, uh, as I have been appreciating it for a while, and I hope you guys are as well. Anyways, I want to know your thoughts on the market today down below in the comments, so please share your thoughts with me, and I will see you tomorrow for another Market Movers as I do make these videos Monday to Friday, so please subscribe if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, and with that being said, please enjoy the rest of your day. will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee with these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about supporting the channel that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again.